Hello and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide and a very happy Boxing Day. We hope you had an absolutely amazing Christmas. Oh, I hope you had such a lovely time. We're here today at the Legoland Winter Resort to check out their festive offerings for this year. We normally come down much earlier for Christmas here. However, we've been that busy with all We're our trip plans. Time. We're not at the chance, but we thought we'd come down, make a nice little Boxing Day video for you all here from Legoland. Of course, we'll have a look around at the decorations throughout the park. We'll see it at night as well. And of course, get some footage of the rides and the ride offering here at this park for Christmas. They've actually got a lot more open here than down at Chessington. Oh, that's good then. <laughs> so if you haven't already, make sure you check out the Chessington vlog from Winter's Tale. But they've only got seven rides open here. It's pretty much a full park. There's Which a lot open really here. Uh, not everything, but most things are open for their Legoland at Christmas events. And one of the big highlights of Christmas here at Legoland Windsor is this amazing tree made out of Duplo bricks just here. It looks awesome. And here you got some microphones that are also made out of Lego out the front. That's quite a nice little touch, isn't it? Yeah, I imagine they do a bit of singing here at certain times throughout the day. But yeah, this looks really nice with the tree. All the candles that light up there as well in stages. And of course, the star at the top. But we'll see that later on as well at night when we exit the park. But yeah, it looks lovely, that does. Those are trees, decorations over here. Only going to be a quick visit to Legoland, just a couple of hours. But yeah, we thought we'd pop in whilst we're down south here and come and have a little look round. We've got the dinosaur with the Santa hat on there as well. And yeah, all the trees, all the way across the front just here. Which makes a nice photo opportunity. Hey, hello. <laughs> Here's a look at the park map then, showing you what's open. And yeah, loads of rides, including the indoor attractions, Laser Raiders just down here. Of course, at the top there, Flight of the Sky Lion, the UK's only flying theatre. Just over here, Haunted House Monster Party, that's open. Uh, Deep Sea down here as well, Ninjago. So yeah, like the indoor rides all open, which is great. Right, fantastic. Yeah, here's your full list actually. Yeah, I mean, I won't read them all out there, but you can see them all. Of course, it does list it on the website as well. Lots Duplo of Dino Coast is open. Um, Dragon Coasters home, Dragon Apprentice, yeah, all three coasters that they've got here in action. Pretty good ride lineup, actually. Yeah, really nice to see. Let's go and have a little stroll around. Oh, look at the dragon just over here. He's got a nice festive headpiece on just there as well. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, I love it. All the trees at the back there covered in snow as well. Da, da, da. <laughs> Very catchy. Nice photo top just there as well. Lego land at Christmas. Some minifigures putting the lights up just there. And this minifigure's dressed as a penguin just oh. there. Got some candy canes, toy soldiers, snowman just here, and a nice heart of candy canes as well, with a nice snow sprinkle. Loads of updates going on here at the park as well at the moment. And yeah, as you can see just over here, they've took out the big dinosaur that was standing there before. And yeah, it used to actually move and smoke came out. And these past couple of years, it's not been great. So maybe they're replacing it or refurbishing it. I'm not too sure, but yeah, that's been took out. As you can see, they've painted up the building just over there as well. Yeah, all around the Lego reef area and imagination. So yeah, I'd imagine they're doing some early prep work around here, ready for the new dueling coasters as well that's going to be coming, probably for the 2024 season uh, that we're looking forward to with that. Like how you got the little uh, oh, minifigure, Alf, there as well. He's got a little sign saying, you found me! His name's Peppermint. Oh, there you go. There's uh, four other owls that came out there around the park as well. Hello, Peppermint. And welcome to Christmas here in Miniland. And yeah, the great thing is they put loads of lights and decorations over all the different models. Doesn't seem too busy actually here at Legoland today. Thought it might be very busy. It is the busiest theme park in the UK after all. So yeah, as you can see down here in London, they've added some nice lights there into all the bushes around here at the side. Look like Christmas lights all the way around, which is nice. London Eye just over there as well. We've got lights on Windsor Castle down there in the distance and yeah, loads of other little features that they put in for Christmas as well. Fire trucks coming in just down here. We've got a John Lewis and Waitrose truck just there That's as well. It, it makes it more realistic. I don't mind them bringing in the sponsorships actually down here. I think it works quite well. We don't actually pay for that. And there we go, just up there on Elizabeth's Tower. You've got uh, Father Christmas and his sleigh with his nine reindeers just there as well. Fantastic. All the nice lights around Lego, here as well. Lego man on the oh, there he there. is, yeah. Is that the Grinch? Or something? I don't know. Grinch. He's green, yeah. <laughs> Trafalgar Square just here. Nice Christmas tree just there as well. <laughs> Covent Garden around here. Nice little scenes. A bit of carol singing going on. Santa's Grotto just down there as well. It's a nice little scene. 
loads of people Christmas shopping around the streets of London just over here. Yeah, they had loads out. Got some carol singing going on just down there as well. Really nice. But yeah, of course, with it being Boxing Day, when you might be watching this, just thought I'd ask you all, what have you had for Christmas? Have you had any nice theme park related gifts? Comment down below. Let us know your thoughts. Have you been playing Monopoly? Oh, Christmas yeah, Christmas theme. games. Yeah. <laughs> this is nice. Hey, all the lights just here over on Windsor Castle and over towards Scotland just over there. Let's go and have a look. Got some nice Christmas markets in Edinburgh, I think. I feel like they've added even more details for Christmas here into Miniland this year. Loads of stalls down there, a bit of festive entertainment, and even a little ice skating rink there as well. Santa Claus up there on the roof of Buckingham Palace as well. And yeah, just down here, we've got this lovely scene here with all the snow. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Love it. There's the Lego Eiffel Tower just there as well. And maybe some of you watching this video may have actually had the real Lego Eiffel Tower oh, that you can now lovely, get. Isn't it? We saw it in the Lego it's store. Really it's amazing. I mean, it's not quite the size of that, but I'd say it's maybe, it's what, a third the size of that, yeah, maybe? It's quite big. Yeah, it's huge. Really nice. Not very Christmassy down here in France, though. Uh, the Louvre, the Moulin Rouge. Yeah, not much uh, Christmas to see around here. Very nice, though, with all the backdrop there, the wonderful mountains as well. The USA just around here as well. Kennedy Space Center. Seven minutes till the next takeoff of the shuttle just there. I like how they add all of the lights just onto the buildings there as well. It's not really nice. Probably just normal Christmas lights that you can get, but they put them on the buildings and it just really adds to the effect. And there's Eurostar. I do love Miniland. It's always great. And it's different seasons of the year. They put different things in as well. Obviously Halloween. We look at the ghosts and ghoulies that they put around. Frankenstein. Really nice scenes. What if you are visiting Legoland at Christmas and you get a bit cold, you can head into the brick just over there as well, which is a nice little building they opened. And yeah, inside there as well, nice and warm. And of course you can build loads of different Lego models. You've also got the Miniland stage just over there as well. The main stage actually down uh, in Heart Lake City, that's actually having some work done at the moment. So we'll check that out. They've took the lighthouse down. Yeah, it's been refurbished. Yeah. Actually. Good to see that they're doing that because I'd imagine it's been the same one since they first put it up. I remember that lighthouse when I was a kid. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's having some refurbishment work done. So I'll have a look down there. Lots going on at the moment. Here's a look at uh, Amsterdam just here. We was in Amsterdam we just like, last week. Yeah. Of course, we filmed the video as well. Head over to the Sandbrook Adventures, our second channel where you can see that. Always love Miniland, no matter when you come to Legoland. However, I really like it what they do at Christmas time. They bring a lot of extra stuff in, which is lovely to see. Yeah, great with all the lights around there as well. Really yeah, pretty. looks fantastic. And anyway, we'll carry on heading around the park, get some footage of the rides, and also as well, some more updates. Talking of updates, you can see there just behind us a bit more groundwork ongoing for the new set of dueling coasters oh, as well. I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah, it's definitely needed for this 100%. park. Only having the three coasters. Um, so yeah, it's going to be really nice. And it should be quite high capacity as well, having two of them uh, intertwining with each other. And yeah, over the next year or so, uh, this view behind us is going to change massively because you've got Duplo Dino coaster just there. And then next to it, and kind of behind this whole area here where raft racers used to be, you're going to have this nice dueling coaster for families, which would be a great move for Lego. Land. All very festive down here. I think we've got a bratwurst stand possibly just down there. And look at this. This looks great with the snowman just there as well. Snowball fight going on. I love all this. Like they put a lot of effort in at this park on the sledging just there as well. And we've got another elf just over there as well. Some polar bears, some more minifigures enjoying the Christmas festivities here at Legoland Windsor. And here we go, we've got a bratwurst stand just over here as well. Eight pounds for a nice bratwurst sausage from the grill tower just there. Here we go, so yeah, temporary food starting to make its way into Legoland now as well. Quite interesting because we've seen the temporary food stalls uh, before at Alton Towers that we're used to by now, and also at Chessington and Thorpe. I've never seen them here before. Nice, no, so there you go, you get a bratwurst sausage. Adds to the event though, because I mean, you would just love a good German sausage at Christmas time. Fantastic. But yeah, loads of rides open for this event, which is good to see. Nice festive music playing around as well. Really nice atmosphere here, much better than at Chessington. Yeah, they really need to sort out their Christmas event there. Uh, but yeah, look at this, fantastic. Ninjago the ride here as well, all decorated. 
for the Christmas season. Ninjago, nice bit of Christmas. View, view, view. Just down here. So we'd like to know we're not going on it because we haven't really got time. We've just come for a little stroll around, but yeah, we'll probably have a go on Skyline though. Got to have a ride on that, it's fantastic. Let us sort of show you all the nice decorations down here. Looks lovely. Christmas here in Pirate Shores. Loads of nice real trees and they cover them in lights and snow, which is good to see. And yeah, obviously the water rides are closed for this event because we are in the UK at winter. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, you got the nice tree just here as well. I remember when that was the main one at the entrance actually. Yeah, before they had the big one like they do now. Yeah, you got the nice dragon just here. Fantastic. Nice scene just here as well. Oh, there it is. It's like sprinkles, this one. Different one. Here we go. You found me sprinkles. Well, we've seen two of them. Means we've got two more to find somewhere around the park now. Yeah, that's really nice. Lit up as well. Head down towards Knight's Kingdom then now. Go and check out the dragon. Also Dragon's Apprentice, you've got Merlin's Challenge down here as well. Yeah, a park that's lovely for Christmas. I'd say out of the Merlin parks, they do the most decorations here. Uh, even more than Alton Towers, I'd say yeah, here. Yeah, I think it looks really nice. Yeah, obviously Alton Towers has got Lightopia, but if we're going off just the standard decorations around the park, I'd say Legoland does it best here in the UK. Christmas Kingdom just over there, of course, where you can meet Santa. Not included if you've got an annual pass, but of course you can pay extra if you'd like to do that. Nice decorations down here because they fit with the medieval style as well, which is good. That's the thing, they don't just chuck up the decorations here, they really think about them all. And yeah, full ride offering down here in this part of the park, which is great. Knight's Kingdom looks amazing, all lit up just there. There's a big Christmas castle, it looks stunning. But yeah, they must get hundreds of these real trees, like look at them all. They're absolutely everywhere throughout the park. And here we go, let's head into Knight's Kingdom, go and have a little stroll through. Look at this, all the nice decorations. Oh, well, we're just a five minute wait for the dragon down here in Knight's Kingdom. Thought we may as well have a go on here. So yeah, have a nice ride round, make the most of it. Great outdoor family coaster. And before you actually head outside, you've got the awesome dark ride scenes through here as well. Unfortunately, you can't film on rides. But we'll see you when we come off. Yeah, always very atmospheric in this station as well with the music and the nice flames just over there. <laughs> right there on the dragon coaster and yeah walk straight on as you can see we've got gingerbread just down there as well more lovely music playing great family atmosphere here at this event which is fantastic to see more trees and also you've got the nice bridge just over here as well with all the lights on looks really good the park looks so pretty like there's trees absolutely everywhere i do like how they put that snow covering around either that or all the snows are still about from the other week yeah <laughs> i don't think so it's not that cold actually here we go, look at this as well. All the nice lights down on the front. Of laser raiders down here. Yeah, it doesn't seem too busy with some of the queues either, which is good. Got all these family attractions open just around here as well. Like the wheel just there, the carousel. As we carry on down here to the bottom of the park, mini wave swinger open there too. There we go, that looks really nice there on laser raiders. All the lights hanging down at either side, and of course it's open. So yeah, all the dark rides and indoor attractions all open here at this event, which is good to see. Christmas down here in Heart Lake City now. Mia's Riding Adventures open. Cobra at Chessington's in bits, but don't worry if you are a nice Zampa at the disco, get yourself here to Lego Land. This one's open and operating. Only just down the road. There you go. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, more lovely trees around there as well. 
And yeah, big updates going on around here. I mean, these past few years, there's been a lot of changes and updates here to Legoland Windsor. Personally, I feel like it's really improved the park. And they've also done a lot of TLC and general maintenance to facilities, such as redoing toilets and that sort of thing. It all helps with a better day out. What they're actually doing now is completely rebuilding the lighthouse down here. Uh, and as you can see, it's weird that it's not there. Like, obviously, they've kept all the scaffolding up, ready to rebuild it. Yeah, look at this. Like, very strange down here in Heart Lake City. I'd imagine we'll have a new show to accompany the new lighthouse. I wonder if it'll come back with a different design or if it'll be identical to how it was before. But yeah, it's nice to see that they're doing this work. I mean, this has been a part of Legoland Skyline since the park opened. Here's a little peek through the fencing. And what we can see just there, there you go. So obviously all the stages are still in place down there at the front. You can see some of the tech just down there at the back. And yeah, no lighthouse in the middle. But yeah, it will be coming back. It's just having that big refurbishment. We'll be back for the 2023 season. And you guessed it, even more real Christmas trees down here. Literally, there's hundreds of them lining the pathways here. I like how they've got coloured lights in them as well. As much as the white lights look more classy, in my opinion. I think it's nice how they put the multicoloured ones in because they look a bit like Lego bricks on the trees, don't they? And down here, I can hear some more Christmas music. And we've got a nice big reindeer here as well, down by Coast Guard HQ. Yeah, it's always good to get round and see the different events that are ongoing. And yeah, again, more trees, look at them all, which are lined up, really nice. Yeah, obviously Coast Guard's all blocked off down there with the trees. Santa Claus is coming to town. Wow, he's already been, guys, he's already been. Boxing Day, when you're watching this. Here's a look at the Haunted House Monster Party. Yeah, this is also open for Christmas. However, not right at this moment. So a few technical problems, but yeah, it is normally open jaw in the Christmas event here. As you can see, you've got some nice decorations on the front just there as well. And obviously all the nice balloons. I do really like the facade on there. I just wish it was themed round at the sides and at the back. It looks so good round here at the front. It's got a great soundtrack as well. Are you sure the balloons or are they lollipops? They're definitely balloons. We have this debate all the time. Yeah, that is not a lollipop. It's a balloon. Like lollipops, it's a balloon. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, here we go. Let's look at Coast Guard just through there. Of course, all drained before the winter season. But yeah, I do like how they put these trees up everywhere. Legoland Express running round there as well. Fantastic to see. Also down this way, you've got Deep Sea Adventure, which of course is open as well, indoor ride, open as part of the event. And then you've got some nice icicles all the way across the front just there as well. Castle Hotel's looking awesome there as well, with all the nice lights on there and out the front as well. Yeah, the music's blasting out down here. Really good Christmas atmosphere. And of course, you've got the two hotels here, set to be joined by a third set of accommodation in the near future. Obviously, we know they're planning on building lodges here. Very similar style to the Enchanted Village at Alton Towers. And yeah, they're going to be built over the next couple of years. But for now, there is still just the two hotels. Very nice, actually, like the Legoland Hotel. And of course, the castle right next door as well. And yeah, there's the Christmas tree. A little bit wonky, probably because of all the strong winds that we've had. Down here now then, in to Lego Mythica, the world of mythical creatures. And what's great about the decorations around here, they're on theme because all the trees are white and blue. And of course, that's all the colour scheme for the area. And Maximus, the sky lion himself. We are really impressed with what we're seeing here at Legoland. Definitely out of the two vents. Uh, Chestnuton and Legoland. This is a lot better for Christmas. Loads to see, loads open. And even compared to Walton Towers, really, your ride offering is a lot better here um, for Christmas. Really is. Fire and ice free fall operating just here, of course. The two awesome drop towers. I do really like these. <laughs> a good view on there as well, which is fantastic. Hydra's challenge, with that being a water ride, of course, that's closed. But yeah, you've also got. Of course, the main event just over here, Flight of the Sky Lion. Yeah, fantastic flying theatre. It looks lovely around here at night as well. Look at Maximus, how he lights up. All the trees around here as well. It looks stunning around here. I do like how they light all the trees up. Beautiful. 
was a 45 minute advertised wait for Flight of the Skyline, but it doesn't look very busy around here. So unless it's running on reduced capacity, I don't think it's 45, but we'll soon find out. Well, it's definitely not 45 minutes. You got one group there waiting to go in, then we'll be on the next one. So probably about 10 minutes, I'd say. Yeah, there we go, definitely not 45. We'll see you when we come off, Flight of the Skyline. there on flight of the skyline an absolutely fantastic flying theater attraction oh it's so good one of the best rides in the uk yeah, if you're still brilliant. yet to come here because it's at legoland honestly get yourselves here i know i've read a lot of comments and people saying oh i wouldn't go because it's at legoland it's just for kids no, honestly come and do it out. it's a great park here as well really okay. festive as well for the christmas event but we're just gonna have a stroll now back up to the park entrance have a look at that lovely tree all lit up at night and then we'll wrap up the vlog oh blind me you're right there <laughs> careful on the bridge just there. Oh, look at all the pretty lights. Of course, you got the nice Christmas tree over here as well. We saw it at the start of the vlog when we came in. And yeah, it's all lit up now here at night. All the nice lights all the way around the entrance. And look at this. Oh, that is stunning. Gorgeous. Made, of course, of the Lego Duplo bricks just there. All the nice little details on it. I think that looks amazing. Really, really pretty. And then you got all the lights around here as well. The entrance to the park, all the snowflakes. Yeah. And there's the tree. I think it's nice how all the candles light up and flash. And you got the star changing colour on the top just there as well. Really nice, very magical. Well, there we go then. That wraps up our visit here to Legoland Winter for Christmas. I tell you what, I think this event's fantastic. I think it's one of the best Christmas events. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, loads going on, lots of decorations throughout the park. Of course, they have got a little bit of entertainment as well. We didn't catch any of it today with the carol singers and the Ollie the Dragon that was out. It was only a very short visit for a couple of hours. However, what we've seen here has been really nice. I think the decorations are really nice. They've done a really good job. Yeah, trees throughout the park. And of course, as well, it's fantastic how it's pretty much a full ride offering. Other than the water rides and a couple of other bits, everything else is open. Which all your dark good. rides, all the coasters are open. And uh, yeah, it's just a really nice atmosphere here. I really like Legoland. I think it's a great park. And these past few years, with some of the more recent additions like Lego Mythica, Flight of the Sky Lion, Haunted House Monster Party, and Ninjago, they're putting some really good additions. I look forward to seeing where they go next with more accommodation and of course the new dueling coasters as well. Lots to look forward to actually. Yeah, I think it will draw a lot more people in. Yeah, and of course help with the capacity here because oh, that's what they really need not so much at Christmas but in the main summer season another coaster or a set of dueling coasters is going to be really nice for this park but yeah Christmas events great I think the tree behind us oh, there is really lovely. nice and just a fantastic atmosphere of course we filmed lots of content over the festive period and we hope that you've enjoyed it all we had our trip out to Europe so check out that playlist with all those vlogs and then of course we've done quite a few UK events as well yeah, now quite a lot going on yeah it's been a really busy time obviously with the house move as well but we've managed to do as much as we can do and really pack it all in and enjoy the Christmas season. Uh, so thanks for joining us in all of our festive Thank vlogs. You. Of course, we have got New Year's Eve that's just around the corner in a few we days' time. Indeed. And we were thinking, what can we do for New Year and kind of incorporate the channel and do something a little bit different? So what are we doing? We're going to Butlins. Yeah, we're going to be Butlins in Minehead for New Year. Um, so stay tuned for that. We'll be filming a few different vlogs. We've done Butlins quite a bit on the channel and we always cover it here on Theme Park Worldwide uh, because, of course, you've got the fun fair, you've got the water park, the entertainment. Um, and yeah, it's always a really nice experience. So we've got Butlins coming up and we thought we we're going to cover uh, the Minehead Resort in more detail because we did three vlogs when we went uh, to Bognor Regis last summer and you all really enjoyed yeah, it. it. So we thought we'd do that um, this time. So we've got Butlins coming up over New Year and then of course we'll be into 2023 we and a huge year coming up for Theme Park Worldwide. But from Legoland that leaves us with one final thing to say. Get, Get out, out there and keep, keep on, on riding. riding. See you all soon. Yeah.